Gamers, and this is Purgold here, and welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Minecraft. We are nearing the 15th part, so let's hope the series can go on. On. And by go on, I mean. mean. not. not turn into. Turn into, turn into one of those, like, like videos where you test out fan maps, like Banana Pylor did. Anyway, anyway, in this part we are going to be collecting our, our rock hard materials, which in this case would be coal and cobble, as we'll need it to build our shelter. Also, let's think about building a complex. Oh, yeah. Probably gonna have to embed it food because... Well, I have a sword I can just hunt out zombies. So, for those using this as a walk-through slash... Well, for those using this as a beginner's guide, here's one thing to Minecraft survival. Due to the re due to the new due to the hunger bar, according to the according to to the Doku Craft texture pack, a a a series of blue of ten blue dots. What was it ten? Yeah, ten. It's ten. But anyway, right now we are getting some coal. Check how many sticks we have. Perfect. Anyway. We got some good some good coal. Anyway, if you if anyone in the previous video actually used the seed pergola. When using the latest version of Melanair, there an abandoned mine would spawn, meaning you would get that has some free stone, which has a stone, and, in, and there's a chest, an unlocked chest in that abandoned mine, which has 22 stone, I guess some cobblestone, and a stone pickaxe. And if and if you ask me, that's a group great deal, meaning you can start mining iron right away way at the beginning of the map. Which is great and, great and all. Anyway. Okay. Okay. When you first, anyway, the pergola seed also so has two things. Large mountains filled with with, with visible with visible coal deposits and flat land to build all your stuff on. Meaning you can get Meaning you are abundant in easily locatable coal, and while also being, also having the availability to build whatever you want because there is a lot of flat land. However, to compensate for the flat land, there are cave openings, which then again, caves are notorious for being, being your savior for being low on resources. But at least I save my iron. So anyway, we got 32 coal, and that's pretty good to start with. I usually start off with, char with making charcoal. So, so this is actually a nice change for once, actually getting coal first off in the game. Anyway, 
I also recommend the new. Whoa, creeper. Die, penis. You know, I'm just gonna neuter this creeper. Everyone calls creepers green penises. Anyway, experience orbs. Experience orbs will come in handy later. Oh, shite. Gonna have to switch to peaceful mode. Alright. In the last episode, Victor made an appearance. My somewhat toddler baby brother. Well, he's one year old, so I'm not sure if I should consider him a baby or a toddler. But nonetheless, cute. But anyway. Enough of that talk. Saplings, yay. Alright, skeletons are gonna be your enemy. Mostly because they have pra Mostly because... They shoot projectiles. And I need food, and... And have having the hunger bar go down to absolute zero. Panic mode. Activate. All right. Oh yeah. More locatable coal. Well, I got enough to start with already, so I'm just gonna try and build with my shelter first. So I reached level one, and with these experience orbs, nothing really happens. Your your overall your offense doesn't go up, your defense doesn't go up, your special attack doesn't go up, your special defense doesn't go up. Jack crap. Hap. Well, the, except there's that there's a increased health mod which actually gives gives a an, a different another use for leveling up. I know that! That was track, but anyway. A leveling up up in vanilla, however, is used for... Um, and there's a lot of sheep. Is used for enchanting. Anyway. Well, we made our first encounters with a, well, practically, a, you got gunpowder, which, early in this game where there's no, which, which were, where we already got our material, which we don't have any sand, even though there is plenty of sand, still, gunpowder is practically useless without practically useless without four other 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 without four more and and four pieces of sand too then again, then again if I were to make TNT I would basically put it at the top now and sort of blast blast a little hole in it you know because it's fun. And fun is okay. Well, that is according to George Carlin. No way he didn't say that. Now what the heck? I'm low on... I need food and I need it now. Probably gonna have to embed it. However, there is only one good thing. In Minecraft, when you're in a swamp biome, 
Brown mushrooms are everywhere. And what's better than... I'm gonna scream... Mm, help. You... You know what I say, my friend? When you're in a panic mode and you've got... And you're surrounded by psychedelic shrooms, lol. You can make mushrooms. But not yet. So right now we're going to collect sand for glass. However, I'm just going to make glass blocks as it's, again, Dooku Craft, Doku Craft is used on the new ooh, and regular Ikington videos. And let me tell you, the Ikington is my favorite. The Minecraft videos are my favorite. Heck, I'm making an RPG and one of the towns is called Ikington. Heck, it's the first town in the game. Seriously, it's the town that you're in once you exit the house. Anyway, I'm going to talk about that RPG. And I think I'll call it Illusion of Mother. It includes a... Even though it has somewhat to do with Earthbound in, in a weirdish fashion, it even... It, even though it includes... Moods, moods, attack moves that are named after Pokemon moves like Surf and Thunderbolt and whatnot. Then there's their traditional psych psychonotic like psychokinetic techniques like PK fire and PK a life up. seeing a return in that. Anyway, for those, well, all right. So I'm going to dump the glass in the furnace. I mean, just in the old furnace. See if I have enough wood for a door. Eh, I got enough, but I'm just gonna remove it. I'm just gonna get rid of a tree because, face it, I'm desperate. Anyway, for those who are thinking I will go to the end, I am not intending to go to the end. Because me, the chance of me finding actually finding a um, a stronghold will be one in a million but, um, one in f well one well one in every one actually one chance for every five will actually one Actually, the chances are it's well. The chances are probably going to be one, one to to every chunk that po that ha can possibly have that could possibly have a good can have a, could have a stronghold, which in my case could be ten. And again, strongholds are kind of rare. Requires I I have enders which come from the most hardest enemy in the game, which are called blazes. And honestly, I don't really. And honestly, me, if I were were to compare Pokemon to Minecraft mobs, I would say creepers would be the Voltorbs. Zombies could be insert the easiest Pokemon to defeat. I guess they're Magikarps if they could actually deal damage. 
skeletons are like I honestly don't know um blazes would be Charizards or some fire type legendary Pokemon I don't know but the Ender Dragon is definitely a mix be between I guess a mix if Oha was a dark type but who gives a crap Pure gold here gold is here and I am and I am out and stew. Of course, he's saying, Purgle, don't you meet, don't you want, and of course those stupid, silly, those silly, yet stupid noobs are probably going to, at the commenting box, typing in, Thur, you need to cook. Stew, you moron, thur. Well, in Minecraft, they throw a curveball. Oh, ball at at a five stool stew five star restaurant by saying look you can have stew uncooked but anyway I digress and I'm just going on on something that's practically useless something that probably will start getting the minecraft trolls the rolling and again fortress crap is a bit crappy Spoiler alert! Er, er, for those who want to buy, for those who want to buy um, the pocket edition of Minecraft, um, please expect, expect to be partially disappointed because it's basically the Minecraft classic when it first came out. So if you don't want to be disappointed, then yeah, I thought. Ah, oh, what the heck? Strangely enough, I just discovered this. The mushroom stew is the only un that unstackable food item. Oh, funny how things work. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to grow a, a giant mushroom if I'm going. I'm gonna make the like I'm gonna have more red mushrooms. Well now that now that we practically tried to survive the first night without shelter, now turn on easy. Now that our bouncing health hunger now that our bouncing health ball's gone, we can collect the bowls and make room for our building supplies. Alright, let's start clearing some land by getting rid of this tree. And there's another thing about this sea that you should know. It has, it has, it has small type trees all the eye could see. The eye could see. All the eye could see. Possibly more. and furnaces. P.S. Yeah, I just call uh, workbenches B.S. Funny. Anyway. Anyway. This is how I make my houses. 
anyone wants to troll on my on my on the way I make my houses out of wood then let me tell you this why do people in the world use wood to make houses I mean we got wood cabins I mean wood is the most basic building material out there and we live in the real world and if I want buildings to reflect on real world design and architecture and by architecture I mean mean commonly sawn architecture like me and living in New England and everything where I couldn't survive a day without seeing at least one being with at least w seeing one house that has those things that look like it ha it's made out of wood when it's really made out of some sturdy plastic. But I know there's wood in that in those houses. Unlike Minecraft, you know, like people who play Minecraft who always build their house out of some more more er, more harder to destroy materials. But I just want to make houses that look look that looks pleasing on the eye. Especially with uh texture packs. But see the cobblestone on bottom layer here is less ug is more is less uglier than than its than its regular her counterpart counterpart in in the regular Minecraft version. Well, regular texture pack. The regular textures. You know what I say to that? Yeah. Anyway. So here we go. Shoveling away. Now that we got the ground set up, we can actually start building the floor. Yeah, I know. For those who like who are who think they're so awesome making for those who think it's easier just to have like regular dirt flooring then yeah I kind of feel a little sorry but face it my building is more pleasing on the eye <laughs> alright so this is my regular singular story house and then my regular single story house single story house, in my case my level one type house, it has a it has as my basic dual furnace action in, in large chat a large chest <laughs> some it and vital vital and vital item where I put my my vital items in like iron or diamonds and stuff however the level 2 house includes a bed an obvious second story, duh, and two large chests, chests for storing 60, 64 of, of items that, common items like cobblestone for instance. You know, so I can at least know where to, where I can keep my surplus. Upgrade three would definitely mean our first trip to the Nether. And then upgrade four would be the enchantment table. Uh, however, upgrade uh, you know, actually scratch that. Upgrade three will be the second story, and upgrade four would be would be putting 
a uh, brewing or brewing station or brewing stand in between the two 64 and 64 chests. All right, now that we got our basic functions already. Ovik. Start storing some of our items. Here we got this. There we go. Blip. Oh, we got our first item stored. Saplings we'll use for fuel because, face it, I got plenty of wood. And if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be in the middle of a of a crisis, then I will start panicking. By panicking, I mean right away.